Chauvin is with us to help us face the fall with a skin routine that tackles skin irritation. So Chauvin, since today is officially the first day of fall, it makes perfect sense to hit the reset button when it comes to our skin. And you're going to help us with that for sure today. Yes. So we're bracing for the cold, a new set of allergens, and obviously falls must have the mask. Now, I find over the years, sensitivity has been on the rise, reactivity, irritations, itchiness, dry skin, small bumps. And now with wearing skin masks, skin reactions are also increasing because they cause friction on our face, they trap humidity under the mask, and also not all materials are suitable for everyone's skin. But we have to wear a mask that's not I would excuse not to wear a mask. So our skincare routine this fall has to be about really strengthening our skin barrier, as well as protecting our skin from potential irritants and uh, triggers from entering. And so I'm going to give you a short skincare lesson. Our outer layer of our face and our body has an outer layer of skin, and this is called a skin barrier. It kind of looks like interlock bricks. And with the cold weather, it takes out moisture out of our skin, which weakens it and also opens it up with holes. So irritants can add, enter and also cause skin reactions. And so it's really important to make sure we reduce the amount of potential triggers that we are exposed to. Now, potential triggers can be in our environment, like pollens and pollutants. It can also actually be ingredients that we find in our very own homes, like detergents and our skin care. So if you have reactive and sensitive skin, try staying away from ingredients like fragrances, parabens, preservatives, and alcohol, because they can be potential triggers. One of my favorite lines is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Ultra Line. And the reason I love this line is because it doesn't have any of those potential triggers, and it's designed for sensitive, reactive skin as well. And it's super affordable. Okay, that part's super important. Really good tips there. Why don't you walk us through a day of taking care of our skin? What does that look like? Absolutely. Let's start with cleanser. Opt for a gentle cleanser. I find that too many people are using harsher cleansers that really strip your face of natural oils. I love creams and micellar waters. They're perfect. Next, while your face is still damp, apply a hydrating serum. This will really penetrate deep into your inner layers and replenish all the moisture that's lost. One of my favorites is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Dermalergo Serum because it has a unique molecule in it called neurozenazine. And what this does, it actually stops allergens from causing the inflammation and the reaction that we see on the surface. So very, very, very cool. It also soothes the skin, which is amazing. And it has it in high concentrations. Um, and while your serum is absorbing, do something else for a few minutes and then come back for your moisturizer, like the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Ultra Light Creme. Now, the reason I love this is because it is a cult favorite and it's suitable for different skin types as well as skin tones. It also has neurostenazine in it and shea butter, for strengthening that skin barrier, as well as thermal water, which soothes dry skin. All really great things. Now that you have your uh, moisturizer and your serum, make sure you top it up with some sunscreen and you are good to go for the day. Now, when it comes to the day, I know under masks, we can't wear makeup. That's not possible for everybody. So if you are wanting to wear makeup, look for ingredients that are non-comedogenic. Read the back of the labels. Um, and also consider swapping out your lipstick for a lip liner all over your lips because lip liners actually stay in place. They don't smudge and hydrating lip liners won't keep your lips dry. Now let's talk about masks. All masks are not made equal. Ones that are made of cotton or silk will be more gentle for sensitive and reactive skin. Look for more layers, especially for more protection. Some masks also have antibacterial protection. And what that will do is protect from bacteria spreading. Make sure you wash your mask every day. And if you find that you're still getting irritated, try using your facial cleanser to actually wash your mask versus your detergent or your soaps. Those are great tips when it comes to masks because honestly, the, there is a lot of irritation happening and you're wearing it all day and you might sneeze when you have it on. So yes, wash them every day. I love your tips. I want to talk a little yes. bit about removing makeup. That's so important. How do you feel about wipes? I think wipes are really great for emergency purposes, but on a day-to-day -day basis, they can be quite abrasive on sensitive skin. So opt for using a makeup removing balm or a micellar water to remove your makeup and then use a gentle cleanser to really clean your skin. As your skin is damp, again, like we did in the morning, go in with a serum like the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Dermalergo Serum and the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Ultralight Creme. 
Both of these have neurosenesine again in them and they're super, super soothing. And you know what? Skincare doesn't end there, Tracy. It's gonna come all the way with us to the bedroom. And let's talk about pillows for a second. Pillows harbor lots of allergens and reactants, so it's really important to wash your pillows every few days. Otherwise, you're basically smothering your face with potential <laughs> triggers. And do not forget about your hair. Your hair, honestly, is like a spider web. So although you might think, like, you know, your hair looks beautiful in the wind, it's actually capturing pollutants, pollen, allergens, and it's bringing it back to your pillowcases. So make sure you wash your pillowcases every few days and wear like a hair bonnet or a hair hat. You can always use a scrunchie and keep that hair away from your face. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm thinking about all the dirt I'm rolling around in every night now. Thank you so much for cleaning yep. that up. <laughs> you gotta wash it all uh, and make sure you've got that good night's sleep. Showing a great tips.